Okay, hi. Um, in this video, we're going to use the IMS LTI reference implementation to connect a um, placeholder provider with a placeholder uh, tool to get them talking to each other in LTI version 1.3. So we'll start at the IMS um, uh, reference implementation site. And um, I'm just going to follow the, the steps they give us. So first, uh, we'll create a new platform. And we'll give it a name. Maybe I'll call mine Steph November, what day is it? 12th. And the client. Try to come up with a unique name there for the audience. Um, I'm just typing in what they gave us in the directions. Okay, so for the public and private key, you can just handy dandy generate one right here. Grab a public key, copy, and a private key, copy, paste it in. Oh, okay, and then it says we need another one. So, the first public and private key pair will be for the provider, and this one is going to be for the tool. So we copy the public key of the tool into the platform, because the platform has to know the pu public key of the tool to be able to talk to it. Okay, save. Now we're going to add deployment to the platform. Okay, platform keys, add key, stuff platform key, one. Okay. Now we'll create a tool. Create a new tool. Stuff tool November twelve. Okay, I think we need the same client ID that we used before. So and there it is. Copy paste. Okay, and the private key for the tool, let's not get them mixed up here. The private key for the tool, not the platform. Very careful. Paste it in here. Okay, this is where I got stuck last time. So you go to your platform keys. Where are they now? Voila. Okay, so the OAuth2 URL comes from the platform. Copy, paste, OIDC URL, copy, Paste, create the tool. Okay. Stiff test. Wait. Number 
Uh, there we go. There's mine. Okay, now we need to copy this OIDC login initiation URL. Copy. And we're going to go back to our platform. We're going to make a No, wait, we're going to the tool. No. I don't know what these are for, so I just put in a value that if I see it pop up somewhere, I'll be able to trace it back to this screen. Resource links. Okay. Title of resource link. to a link URL. There we go. The tool link URL is the tool launch URL. This is where I got stuck before. Because the names don't exactly match up. The login oh the login initiation URL is the OIDC one. Copy, paste. Okay, save. And then tool deep link URL. Where does that go? Well, that goes in the platform. No wonder this took me two days. Edit platform. There it is. Okay. Are we ready for our line items? I don't know if I even need this. I don't think I need this one. Okay, navigate to your platform. Edit your platform. Where's mine? Yes. View platform. Resource links. Select user for launch. I think the tool just randomly gives you sample students, so we'll choose Muhammad here. See if this works. Send a post. Shows me all my parameters I'm going to send. So now we're in we're in the first leg of the OAuth two launch JSON web token rule. It failed. Key set URL.
Maybe I'll just stop the video while I debug this. Okay, I found the step I was missing. So you go into your platform, and then into the platform keys, you copy this JSON well-known JWKS URL from the platform, then you go into the tool, you edit the tool, and you have to paste the key set URL there. Okay, then you update it. Now we'll go back to the platform and then try that resource link again. See if it works this time. Okay, login initiation, post authentication request. Oh. I think this is the second leg now. Oh, okay. So I that took me like over a day to get that figured out, but now I have it documented on a video how to do that successfully. Okay, thanks for watching.